Breaking news, ChatGPT have just released a new projects update and it's included some pretty big updates as you can see. I've actually tested out and built out this machine. I'm going to be showing you a hundred different use cases on how to use it. Plus, I'll be breaking down what the new updates mean for you. Plus, how you can build huge detailed reports personalized to you using ChatGPT projects and some of the best ways to implement it inside your business. So let's get straight into this. What are the new updates? So ChatGPT literally just a few hours ago said we're adding more capabilities to projects in chat. This includes deep research support, voice mode support. This is actually very interesting. I'm going to show you a new way that I don't think I've seen anyone else talk about for using this, along with improved memory to reference past chats in projects and upload files and access the model selector on mobile. So if you want to start using ChatGPT projects, you can go to new project on the left hand side over here and then start building this out. Now, one of the best ways to actually start using this is you can actually go inside ChatGPT and it has that memory for you, right? So what I actually did is I took the information from the updates page, which is right here. They have this information that's about ChatGPT projects, how to use it, etc. what the new updates are, what's new in June 2025. And then I actually pasted that into ChatGPT. And I said, based on this, like, give me some ideas of how I could use this, right? So I said, what useful stuff could I build around this? Now, ChatGPT obviously knows you, knows who you are, knows what you've done in the past and what you've talked about. And then it gives you a bunch of ideas that are customized and personalized to you. So you can find like real actionable use cases. Because I think nobody's struggling for tools, but everyone's struggling for automation and implementation, right? And so this is one of the best ways to use it because then you can come up with a bunch of ideas of how you can use it. So one thing that I wanted to build was this AI powered SP library. This will be really powerful, for example, for training your team. If you've Got a new member on board you can automate the training of them you don't have to do it yourself etc and so for example if we wanted to start building this out here's how we can do it using the new features so we can go into chat gpt like you can see right here and i could take all the processes from my business and then start implementing them into a new project so if you call this for example ai powered sap machine and then we're going to create that project and then from here, we can start adding files and uploading different projects into this. Now, obviously, this is for ease and training my team. So I'm going to take all the processes from my business and then plug them in here as an example of that. Let's pull up a couple of the P's I've got and we can start using these. So I'm going to take my sales training SAP, which is a huge document, 78 pages. And then also my SAP for setters, which is 49 pages so i'm going to take both of those download them as a word doc and then we're going to go back into chat gpt click on add files here we're going to take both of these sps and you could add many different files to this if you wanted to you don't have to just add one or two and then from here you can see these are now uploading right so it's really quick and easy to train these different sps and files straight into chat gpt projects like you can see Adrian says, a project's allowed in the free plan. As far as I'm aware, I think these, particularly these upgrades, they're for the pro plan and above. So, sorry, the plus plan and above, right? So the basic pay plan and above for that. And so essentially here we've got the project files and then we can also add some instructions. Now, the easiest way to find some instructions here is you can say, okay, let's go back to ChatGPT. And again, this is all personalized to you, your business, who you are. Right, which is great. That's what I love about ChatGPT. It's probably the main thing that keeps me on ChatGPT versus anything else. Is you get that personalized feature because it's got a memory of you, what you said in the past, and all that sort of thing. Right. So if we go back inside here and we say, okay, for my agency, knowing what you know about me, create some custom instructions for this project. So we're gonna hit enter. And by the way, if you're using ChatGPT and you want to just quickly hit enter, press command and enter on a Mac, and then you can quickly just hit enter and it will just, it will click this button for you, so you don't need to mess around there. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna plug that in, let's see if we can, here we go. So we've got all the information like, and then we've got the custom instructions. You wanna have a quick read through it, just make sure it's actually decent and makes sense. So here we go, blah, 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 all right. We're gonna hit save on that. And so now we've got the project files and the instructions literally took us like two minutes. And now we've got AI powered machine, right? So for example, I can say, let's put myself in the shoes of a new setter who starts on the sales team. I could say inside here, a new appointment setter. What's the 80, 20 
of what I need to know about setting, right? And so like from day one, they can just hit the ground running using this project data, right? So it's now gonna run the automation and this is all based on the project data and the custom instructions we've given it. So it says the goal of this SP 80, 20 step-by-step -step instructions, mindset first, qualify hard, you set calls to sales call, follow up like a beast, right? And so it takes the 80, 20 of my SP and then it shows them exactly what to do. Plus it gives them a checklist of what to do on the day. Really powerful stuff, easy to train my team that way. And you are good to go on that, my friends, all right? So that's one way you can use it. Now, there's so much more you can actually do with this. So if we go back to the AI powered machine, as you can see, we can actually see the previous chats down here, which is great. And if we go back here, what we can actually do is we've now got voice mode, which is a brand new feature inside ChatGPT projects just came out today, right? And so if we go inside voice mode here, we're gonna say, okay, mate, so I'm a setter, and basically I want to role play and practice doing an appointment setting call based on the SAPs attached, right? So I'm gonna be the setter, you are going to be the client, and we're just gonna role play this out, okay? All right, sounds good. I'm ready to play the client. Let's say I'm a business owner who's interested in learning more about your agency's AI automation services. You can start by introducing yourself and asking me about my business goals. Perfect, hey, is Julian Gold here? Hi Julian, yes, this is Alex. It's great to connect with you. I heard you're interested in our AI automation services. I'd love to learn a bit more about your business and what you're hoping to achieve. Yes, I'm the client. So I'm excited to hear about what you can do for my business. What kind of solutions do you offer that could help me out? Awesome, so what are you struggling with right now? One of my biggest challenges is that I have a lot of repetitive tasks that take up a ton of time. I'm really looking for a way to streamline those and free up my team to focus on more strategic work. Perfect. And how much time do you think you spend doing that? Honestly, it probably takes up a few hours each day. All right, so I'm going to X off that. But basically, you can see here how we can simulate a sales call straight off the bat. And now instead of me having to sit there and train my team or my sales manager having to sit there and train the team, we can now run mock sales calls using the voice mode inside ChatGPT projects and how easy and simple is that, right? The only problem is that it does seem to get confused on the who's who, you know, that I clearly told the custom GPT to be the client and I'm the setter. But at the same time, could I train an appointment setter with that? Did it just require one quick conversation or sentence? Yeah, you're good to go. And then you can use a voice mode. And if you wanna know something crazy, we've actually been using this to train our sales team and it works so well for bringing on new people because essentially what you're doing is you're allowing your team to get like unlimited training without messing around. And then also you are saving yourself time and they don't feel embarrassed, right? Because they're just learning on the go without any judgment. They're just speaking to AI, so they don't feel like any sort of shame or embarrassment if they don't get the process first time around. So this is really good. And then of course, because we've trained it on the custom GPT and the knowledge from our SAPs, we live in the dream. And also here's the other thing, it's like there's a new memory feature inside here. So if you haven't seen this already, there's this new memory feature where basically you can look through previous chats and then it can reference past chats in a project to keep responses focused, right? So for example, if I have a sticking point with my team, they can use that and say, based on my previous sticking points, let's simulate a better conversation on this, if that makes sense, all right? So you're pretty much good to go on that. And then also the other thing here, this is really interesting as well, is like I can go into the custom GPT, so let's open this up, but I can go into this project and I can say, okay, we're going to, we're gonna write a code, right? And I can say, based on my SAPs, create a cheat sheet for handling objections, right? Make it beautifully designed and useful for a sales rep when they're handling client objections on a sales call, right? And so there's a brand new feature, this has just been released in ChatGPT as well, literally just came out today, where essentially you can now download the objections or you can download anything that you code inside ChatGPT. So once this is finished coding, I'll show you exactly what I mean. But basically you can see here how it's opened up 
to a canvas, right? It's created a nice little canvas here. And so once it's created this canvas, we can now download this as a PDF after it's fully done. And essentially it's taking all the custom knowledge from the project and then using that to build the objection cheat sheet, which we are then going to download as a PDF. Like, so if we open this up now, we've now created a PDF with the chat GPT branding, it's pretty cool. And then based on that SOP and all the custom training we put into this project, we've now got something that we can train our team on. Beautiful, right? And so it's got all the most common objections, how to handle them, bonus tactics, why it matters, the checklist, etc. right? Now, not only that, so if we go back to ChatGPT projects now, so this CSOP library, let's pull this up. Now what we can do is we can actually share the project. So for example, if we go back to the new examples here, we can share individual chats, right? Which is great because now what I can do is if I find that chat with the role playing, which is this one right here, as you can see, right? I can now click on share and then as long as this doesn't have audio on, we can share those conversations that we've had. So for example, if I wanted to, if we go back here, we'll just refresh the page. All right, so if we go back to this objection handling cheat sheet, which is based on the project, we can now click on share. I can grab that link and I can share that cheat sheet with my whole team so that they can start building it as well. Right, and so with this process, we can now quickly share our objections together, we can share our conversations on the projects, even for example, something like this is super useful for my team to look back on because we can see like the mock calls and that sort of thing, right? And so there's a lot of cool functionality in here that most people don't use, it's particularly useful across teams, and I've not even come on to this part which is quite important as well, which is deep research. So let me show you an example. I've actually got some examples inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. This is a free community with 10,700 people and we give away new trainings every single day. You can see we just gave away this training literally 11 hours ago and every single day we just create new trainings inside there. So if we go to the ChatGPT projects update training, as you can see right here, what we can do from here is we can actually do deep research using the project. Now this is useful if you've got a lot of documents to look through, but also what it's useful for is if you go through here, you can say, okay, based on my current processes that we've uploaded into the project, and in particular, the AI automation SAP that we locked in, and the current market, blah, 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 right? Make it very actionable and base this on current trends and do some research on how we can improve. And then ask some questions. And then we do the deep research inside the project so that we can leverage the sources inside the project, aka the SAPs, and also all the other sources on the web, right? So you can see here, it's used all these other sources on the web. It breaks down what it's learned, and then it gives us some actual strategies to boost B2B AI automation service sales, right? And so it gives us some research in terms of like 75% of companies now use AI in at least one business function. 96% of leaders plan to integrate AI into their operations. And 54% of senior business leaders feel unprepared for AI's rapid advancement, right? And so if we look through here, it's got the key pain points, what to improve, how to use this, etc and all the information throughout here. Pretty crazy stuff. And so like you can get some very actual ways to just implement this stuff into your business. And if you actually have a look here, here's the next steps, here's what we're gonna do based on the market trends and also knowing what ChatGPT knows about me inside the project and also outside the project, it gives me some really refined actionable ways to improve. And then it even, for example, shows us the initiative, so the quarter, the goal, who's gonna do it, and then where we're at in terms of statuses, right? So really powerful, really actionable, really easy way to use the new chat GPT projects update in a way that I don't see anyone else on the internet talking about, but I think it's very powerful. I'm excited to share this with my team. There's loads of new implementations here. It does remind me slightly of Complexity's Labs update and that sort of thing, but I would say this is better because everything's personalized to you, right? How much data does ChatGPT have about you across all your memories, across all your previous conversations, etc.? So thanks very much for watching. If you want to get all the notes, templates, and examples from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. This is completely free. 10,700 people that you can connect with. New trainings every single day. We literally post new trainings like every few hours. So you can see all these 
free trainings given away, right? All this stuff related to AI and making money and growing your business. And then inside the classroom, if you go to the AI update section and then go to the project section, you can see not just all the examples, but also 100 different use cases that you can use this for, right? It's 100 general AI use cases for anyone who watches my video. So feel free to get this. Link in the comments description to the AI Success Lab. If you want to connect with me personally, if you want help, support, if you want DM, if you want coaching, etc., feel free to get this inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This comes with three coaching calls per week. It's a very active community, 662 serious entrepreneurs interested in scaling their business. You can also see what we actually do is we build custom automation, uh, automations for you. So we've been running this for two weeks. We make personalized videos for you and then we help you and just give you everything you need, right? So if someone's okay, I want this. I'm like, here you go, here you go, Aaron. I've built that for you. Boom shakalaka. And then also you can request new automations. Like you can see, all these new automations will be built for people with links to trainings and tutorials. We also updated this like crazy this week. You can see all the new stuff inside the classroom, inside the AI Profit Boardroom. And we also have the three coaching calls per week, plus you can post in the community anytime you need it. And this is just like an amazing community where we all connect and we all have fun building together and also just win along the way, enjoy the journey, right? So feel free to get that. The prices do go up at 700 members and we have 662 currently. Additionally, if you like Julian, I just want Julian to implement chat GPT projects for my business, then feel free to book in a free AI strategy session. Link in the comments description. On that call, we're going to time audit where you spend your time. From there, we're going to jump on and figure out exactly where you can automate. And then if it makes sense for us to do it, we can just go off and implement that for you, but no pressure if you don't want us to do it, right? And if your time is worth $100 and you save $100 per month, then you're saving between and save time without doing anything because we do it all for you. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.